Good buddy, how's it going? How's life been for you? Have you kind of met anybody yet? You haven't? I've got the perfect person for you. Azumarill, meet Bronzor. Bronzor, meet Azumarill. You guys should hang out some more wherever you've been hanging out. So hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Red Ready Man. In this episode we're going to take a look at some little cup battles. Um, I said I wasn't going to do any more battles and I was going to have some time off uh, but I had a bit of a brainwave about, uh, I was looking basically for Kanto uh, Cup um, and just starting to get my head around some ideas and uh, Alolan Persian looks like a really useful Pokemon uh, for, uh, for Great League, uh, sorry yeah, for, the, for the Alolan Cup and then I kind of started to think well Meowth actually could be a really good Bronzor counter and I said that once I got to rank 10, I was not going to use Bronzor. Um, I was going to kind of start playing around a little bit. So I re rebuilt a team here uh, with Wynut in the lead, uh, Seal as a, a save swap, and then uh, Meowth for, uh, for the Bronzor matchup. Um, ironically, I, did, I started to see less Bronzors as soon as I built this. Um, so, yeah, go figure. Uh, but let's get into the matches and have a look um, how they uh, how they went. So um, let's uh, set that going now. And it's so good being rank ten. Oh, it takes all of the pressure off. Uh, I'm coming up against another rank ten player. Um, I think they're going to be coming up. A we're going to see a lot of them. Uh, and then straight away, the thing I don't have a counter for is the Ninkada. Uh, I cannot like both of my teams. Um, don't do well against this Ninkada, so I am going to uh, kind of shield up this Night Slash. I can take one, but uh, I want to try and keep uh, my Wynut healthy. So in comes Meowth, um, and I should have let this through. This was the first time playing it, and I didn't really kind of get it, but it's incredibly glassy. Um, like, it is very, very frail Pokemon. Um, but the reason I've, I say I didn't want to spend any more dust on this cup, but once I've finished, I'm going to power this up into the Persian, and I think we'll be seeing it uh, later. And it's like a rank 22 or something like that. So, really happy with it. Um, so, in comes Wynut uh, with um, um, Miracote, which is probably the worst move in the game. But the counters are just so good. Unfortunately, we look like CMP tied there, which is very unfortunate because I will take this Icy Wind no problem. Oh, and I didn't. I hadn't pressed. That's good. At least we didn't get that move off. Um, and uh, this looks like a Bronzor, uh, is it? It is. Um, so, uh, unfortunately, Meowth is, uh, has been disposed of. So, Seal is in a terrible matchup. Um, unfortunately, the, uh, the Psychics will, will kind of uh, mount up. But Icy Wind means that we can debuff them just a little bit. Um, so, the attack falls there, which is great. So, we can take probably one more. Psychic, so let's see what happens. Uh, so, so shock, sorry, isn't it? Yes, um, I'm worried that I'm gonna go down with this energy, so I, I fire off the Aqua Tail, uh, which chunks away, and they've got a shield left. So uh, yeah, this is this is all over. I, I don't see how I can win this one here, but we get off the mirror coat and uh, get their shield, and then we're out. So like, listen. This isn't a super positive set, and I'm not saying that you should all use Meowth, but for the for the benefits of science, I did it for you, um, so we could take a look. It is not, it is not a good Pokemon in this league. Um, it's it, it, you will see come into its own, uh, but I think I went three two in this uh, in this session. So there is another loss in here somewhere. So if you think that the uh, bronze or bronze or matchup was boring, this is even worse. This can go on forever and ever and ever and ever. And it does look like it's true that shinies do do more damage. Um, that the because uh, I, I I think they're they're ahead of me there um, in the damage stakes anyway. So another mirror coat, uh, and then we we kind of just this is uh, we yeah 
maybe should have cut this bit out but we're here now um, I think the great thing about Why Not is that it is just an absolute tank um, it really does like it takes a move from everything even super effective it really does and look at it it's so happy it's so happy to be here uh, it normally doesn't come out of the out of its box to be used for anything so this has really been its chance to shine this last week and it's and it's done a good job so uh, in comes another one um, yeah it's not a great match is it and they're definitely ahead of me um, I've got so used to doing heavy slam that you just, did you see my finger there that I started to uh, kind of uh, move around um, and they're going to take me out here I, what I really should have done at this point is swap out uh, because I this is going to this battle's going to time out uh, and it's basically how many Pokemon have you got alive so um, but then they would probably just swap out too and uh, we get another Miracote off so maybe this might take them out it must be close okay so at least I get a shield out of it that's great so we're a shield up um, but they've got they've got a, a, a Miracote ready to go uh, straight away there as you see so bring him out um, yeah, it doesn't do any damage, which is great. So we're a shield up, and although we've lost switch, uh, we're actually two shields up. So this is great. And in comes a Golok, and he just absolutely shreds the Golok. Um, and then in comes Bronzor, and it's gonna really come into its own here. Um, yeah, it gets the Night Slash off. Unfortunately, no boost, but um, they're building up a lot of energy there. Um, but this is okay because Seal is also a good answer. Um, they're going to throw, so I may as well shield just, well, what are shields for, but if not to use, and they back out. So GG's to my opponent there, well done to them. Um, but there we saw the Meowth, when it's aligned and it's in the perfect position, then actually it can be a really, uh, really interesting, spicy choice. And um, we do like a little bit of a spicy choice on here. So, um, so it met by a seal, this is not a terrible matchup for us. We don't really need to shield any of the moves of the seal, uh, but unfortunately the icy wind will uh, start to take its toll on us um, and make our attacks just weaker and weaker. So firing off the mirror coat and uh, yeah, that does a good chunk of damage even though it's uh, weakened. So unfortunately we looks like we see MP again there. Um, so we do, they get another, oh we get an Aqua Tail off which is great, like, so that doesn't debuff us anymore. Um, this should do some damage and we should manage to get Switch here. Um, so we do, we maintain Switch and we've kept all of our shields. So not a terrible start and this allows us to, uh, to line up the, the Stonky. So um, in comes, I, I, I kind of felt that Meowth was probably the safest option here. Managed to get the Night Slash off, which is fantastic. If they let this through, this will do a chunk of damage, but it, they get a shield. So we're just going to shield up here too. And uh, unfortunately, I think they've got two crunches ready. Um, and we managed to farm down, so that's great. And in comes uh, Alolan Sandshrew. Um, and the, the, this should be a good game. Um, if I can get the icy wind off, we should be able to take those night slashes then a little better. Um, so let's, uh, that, yeah, there's a good chunk of damage there. They're getting pretty low. And I think all we need to do at this point is Aqua Tail. So let them come through with their night slash. Um, and we unfortunately get another one off. It's a very spammy move. I think, is this the one where they get their boost as well? Yeah, and then they get the boost, so it really is a run for it. But I go for the for the killer blow just in case, because there's no way that we're going to get to another one, and GG's. So, um, yeah, that was that was a little bit hairy by the skin of my teeth, um, but good battle by my opponent there. Well played by them. I think they did all that they, they could, uh, and that boost probably just came a little too late for them. Um, we see another one a little later on where the bo a boost kicks in as well and it's just so painful when it happens. So this is probably the best place for us to see the Cotney. Um, everything else will be a little frail to it. The seal will do quite decent damage but will uh, the seed bombs will really ma mount up uh, and I'll have to burn through shields. So um, 
probably the best place to see it. Um, so seed bomb comes through, does do some damage to wind up, but we, we can survive that. And then we get the mirror coat off. Hopefully, I think we'll get a shield at this point and then we'll start matching their shields. So um, yeah, we uh, with ghost through, which is great. Uh, and we managed to nearly farm down. They have to fire their energy. Um, and I'm gonna actually stay in here, which seems, it is a little crazy. I don't know why I'm staying in there. Um, but in comes a Pucciano, which allows me to align um, my Meowth with it. Uh, they don't really want the seal uh, to do it. So in it comes and starts mounting up. The fast damage is doing nothing. Um, I'm fairly sure this is a Night Slash that would, or it's a Crunch that would not do so much. Um, but you'll see here that that was like not not effective um, and look at that it takes out a heap of my life so managed to farm down there and then fire off the night slash get a shield um, we met by a shelmet um, can I win this still I mean it depends this is gonna be this is the um, what's it called uh, signal beam, yes, it can uh, can has a chance of lowering your defenses. So um, that is unfortunate. We should be able to take one more whenever we get this icy wind off. Um, so it gets their final shield. Um, I think we just survive here, and we're going to be a race to Aqua Tail. So yeah, we just survive, uh, and uh, I get the I get the uh, debuff there. So my attack and my defense are lowered. Um, and it's not quite enough because of that and they managed to win so I kind of feel like that was stolen from me because of the buff um, that's very unfortunate to uh, to get that attack and defense drop just as we were doing and maybe if I'd gone for the ice beam I might have just got there but you could see how incredibly low I was so um, so this is unusual to see a, a muck um, nice to see a muck in there nice to see a little bit of spice um, I, I think this is the best place for me to be and I'm just gonna farm down uh, and I decide to fire the, the move just as they fire their move. So I'm going to protect it because there's a lot of energy built up on this. Oh, and I hadn't clicked. So here we can uh, hopefully either threaten shields or take them out. Um, we do manage to get a shield. We manage to fire another one. And now it's just, I think they're going to shield this now. And then we're just going to have to go for the farm now. Very strange play. Um, but... Um, we managed to farm down and take very little damage and, and they don't get off a charge move. So we're a shield up uh, and although we've lost switch, um, this this is not a bad place to be. Very happy to see the bronzer here. Um, Got to fire off the icy wind to lower its defenses. So by the time it gets to its charge move, it doesn't do as much damage to it. They drop out. I'm gonna obviously stay in here because what I want to do is, um, I, wa I want to get my oath lined up um, with that bronzer. Um, yeah, I do have to shield. I should have gone for the ice beam there. I'm not quite sure why I didn't, um, but we'll get to this ice beam this time um, and lower their attack so we don't take as much damage. So that goes through there, um, and they're going for. Uh, they're building up quite a bit of energy here. Miracle does take a little time to charge, but it's it's not so much. And with that debuff, we're able to take them out. Um, and we both simultaneously KO, which is a shame because it would have been nice to get that. Um, now, although this is resisted, uh, just look at how much damage this gyro ball does. Like over nearly sixty percent of our of our health there. Um, but we we get off the night slash, uh, which just takes them out. And GG's to my opponent there. So me out clearing up at the end there and doing its job, um, and just managing to get it aligned. And that's what it's all about, is just getting that uh, uh, a line there. So it's a three and two. It's not the greatest, most exciting set, but I thought it was really interesting to just look at Meowth and just look at a slightly different team before Little Cup um, disappears. Um, it's nice to, to kind of have that there. Um, how has your Little Cup gone? Uh, I'd love to hear in the comments below um, how it's been for you, what rank you are, what teams you've been using. Uh, very much looking forward to Kanto Cup on Monday. Um, that will be uh, hopefully some more um, some more videos coming out on that very very soon. And uh, but what are you still doing here? Let's go Pogo.